Hello, I'm Randy Jenkins, Senior Practitioner with Lean Dimensions International. Welcome to part one of a three-part series on autonomous maintenance. In part one, we'll look at why you should implement autonomous maintenance if you haven't already. And in part two, we'll have a look at the potential for initial resistance from operators. And then finally, in part three, we'll look at the potential skepticism from maintenance technicians at implementation. Stay tuned for part one. If you're not familiar with the term autonomous maintenance, or better known as AM, it simply means maintenance by the operator. Through autonomous maintenance, operators get to know their equipment better, identify potential issues through inspection, and perform simple maintenance tasks. For example, operators learn to properly inspect critical components of the equipment, perform sim simple lubrication tasks, and additional things that help maintain the condition of the machine. Recently, I was at the local auto mechanic professional getting the serpentine belt changed on my truck which is recommended at 120,000 miles. There was a young man talking to the mechanic. He was receiving bad news. His engine was blown and unrepairable because it had completely run dry of oil. The young man was asked by the professional if he had saw any early warning signs that the oil was low. The young man embarrassingly, embarrassingly said that he had noticed a small puddle of oil in the garage, but he stated it wasn't that much. He also stated that the oil light came on a week earlier, but he assumed that it was a faulty light. I couldn't help but feel sorry for the young man because he had never been taught how to take care of the car. The car was extremely dirty. He didn't check the oil, had never changed the oil, nor did he take monitoring the gauges seriously. Too many times I see the same neglect in factories. When it comes to their machinery, neglect leads to eventual breakdowns and downtime. This downtime affects your profitability and ability to meet customer demand. So, will autonomous maintenance prevent all breakdowns? Absolutely not. If we can identify potential issues early and minimize them, wouldn't it be a good investment for your company? I hope that you have a functional autonomous maintenance program in your facility. But if you, if you don't and are interested in hearing more, contact us by using the address on the screen now. We will be happy to answer your questions and discuss an autonomous maintenance program that best, fit, best fits your situation. Look for part two of this three-part series soon, the potential for initial operator resistance when implementing autonom autonomous maintenance. And as always, like and share this video with your friends and colleagues. Until then, 